these global cor corporatists, the global elites, I mean, Marxism is really about consolidating the revenue stream so it goes simply in the hands of, of, of the elites and the people on the street, the useful idiots, the Democrat voters, they think Marxism is, you know, is basically they get free money. Which is not about that. It's just like in Haiti. It's so cheap to buy people off. That's what's happening in America. The global corporatists buy these people off with the promise of socialism. Here's your, here's your little trinket. Here's your trinket check. They buy them off. So now you've got the loyalty for the vote. They're going to support them. And the people on the ground never figure out. And it's, it's all that hate the rich, right? Redistribution of wealth, blah, 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 blah. And so the people on the ground never figure out that actually Marxism is run, that this Marxist Leninist scheme is run by rich people. Run by rich people. Now, the big global corporations set, they control the government, they control the American government and the American tax system. So they get the useful idiots on the street to hate the rich. Who ends up being the rich? The rich that they end up hate, the, the so-called rich that suffers the brunt of it is actually small business. So the, the true rich, the elites, the global corporatists craft the tax system and the American government policy to target small business because small business, your basic mom and pop, everyday entrepreneur is competition to the global corporatists like Jeff Bezos. So that's why they... It seems it's counterintuitive to people. It sounds like a contradiction for people like Bezos and Zuckerberg and all of these guys to transmit either explicitly or implicitly the hate the rich message, right? Because you think, oh, well, they're the rich. Why would they be saying that? They know they're insulated. And the actual rich that they're talking about is the middle class, the mid-tier rich in the eyes of the useful idiots. And so because they're able to control the tax system and American domestic policy, the actual rich, I mean, the true 1%, the true elitist, the global corporatists can actually use the hate the rich message to target their competition. Meanwhile, the revenue stream is completely being consolidated into their hands and they're getting richer. This is what, this is what's, this is what's telling, right? Because here's the thing. And this ought to be a clue to people, but they don't see it. I don't get it. The, the, the brainwashing is powerful. But think about this. There's no question that the socialist structure has expanded. Correct? Everybody would agree with that. Amen me if you agree with that. The, the, the entitlement programs have expanded. The socialist structure has expanded. The so-called free money structure has expanded. The take from the rich, blah, blah, blah. Yet at the same time, the ones at the very top have only increased their wealth. Their wealth has expanded. They, they're richer and richer. They're richer now than they've ever been. So socialism is not about targeting those guys. Those people, the global elitists, are, are absolutely shielded from the consequences. They're the ones in control of the policies. And so really the hate, the rich targeting is actually against small business, small to moderate sized businesses trying to climb the ladder to get to, you know, get to that bigger level because the global corporatists are trying to hold them down. So they don't have all the competition. Now, if they can't hold them down in the competition, then they buy them out. They just, they just co-op them. This is what Google does. Google is unbelievable at they just go around and buy stuff up. I mean, you've had corporations buy stuff up and then shelf it so it's not competition. So and people don't get this. The economic illiteracy is, is massive in this country. Uh, so you, 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 have, you have to come to grasp. You, you have to get this. You have to get this. When they say hate the rich, it's not about the big global corporatists. And that's who they always point to. Oh, well, look at this guy. He's trillions and he's buying yachts and this and that. No, the hate the rich program, the socialist Leninist scheme is to target people like us, people like you and me. 
people who want to start their own business who, you know, because here's what here's what you'll find out. Those of you, motor oil. Is this motor oil? Is that motor oil? Union news page, too much Facebook censure. Is that motor? Is that my friend motor oil? Wow. Give, give me a thumbs up if that's you, bro. So, but those of you who have, you know, try to start your own business or, you know, entrepreneur or whatever. I mean, it can be small, something small. Or you're just, you're not working for somebody else who just simply cuts you a paycheck. Awesome, bro. Motor oil. God bless you, man. It is so good to see you there. But if, if you, if you've been in the small business, right, you know how this works. Like you've seen it firsthand. And, it, and, and here's the thing. If you're one of those, if you're one of the, the, the regular people just living paycheck to, who've never been in this realm, you don't get it. And that's who they prey upon because they don't understand. They, they have no concept. So when you say, you know, think about a small business and make, let's say you're making, you know, small business, you're starting out, you're just, you're just doing, you know, you're doing your thing. You got your niche. And, uh, you know, let's say you make you you're you're grossing two hundred thousand, right? So the average Democrat voter and economic illiterate that they prey upon, they're going to say, "Oh, rich guy, that's a rich guy." To them, that's rich, right? Oh, you're making two hundred grand, man. You're rich because they've never been in that realm. They don't understand it because what you find out, and those of you know how the global corporatists craft the tax policy to target the small business, you, you bringing in grossing 200 grand, you could be spending 50 to 75% of that just to run your business and then add whatever the IRS is going to come and take behind that. You can be a 200 to $300,000 gross small business owner and end up making less than just the average guy who's clocking in uh, at some place like Taco Bell and just letting someone cut them a check. But those guys in that position, they don't understand that. They don't know that. And so they look at every business owner as the rich. And this is what the global global corporatists want them to think. Now, they look at these big guys as the rich as well, but those guys know that they can't be touched, but they know it's going to be their competition that goes out of business, it's going to be their competition that suffers. So this is, this is the thing. And so small business is the one that gets sucked dry like a freaking vampire victim. And that's who suffers the brunt of this. And their propaganda makes it difficult to, to talk about it because you sound like, oh, you're defending Zuckerberg and, you know, these guys on their yachts and whatever. So that's how they've crafted this uh, to where it's such a trap, such a trap uh, to take out, you know, basically to keep the reg the average guy who they they look they look down on as a lesser human being. You're not a neo sapien. You're you're the mongrel service class. And they want to make sure you stay where you are and you can't you can't climb and challenge their. Uh, hegemony. I'll, I'll use a term that the liberals like. You can't challenge their hegemony. You can't challenge their complete domination of the economic realm and economic policy. So that that's what's going on. That's who's the target of this. And so anytime you hear, you know, you hear this stuff about the rich, it's not about the bazillionaires. It's about the mom and pop small business, you know, Maybe you're making a couple hundred thousand. And, you know, a lot of times a mom and pop business, uh, you, you know, like it's you and your wife and whatever you end up with, you're splitting that. Whereas a regular average person, husband's going to work, wife's going to work. They're both getting a check from the employer. The employer's paying all the taxes, whatever. They just get what they have come home. You cash that, boom. And so many times uh, people like that are in better situation. You know, they're in a better position than a small business owner. And you, you work your tail off and stress yourself out fighting to build your business and, you know, build something for the future, build a legacy, improve people's lives. By the way, poor people don't hire folks. How many out there have ever worked for a poor person? 
right? This is that's the craziness of the hate the rich nonsense. So you know, you make your small business, you're you're hiring people, you're paying contractors, stuff like that. Economic illiteracy is one of the major threats to this republic. One of the major contributing factors to the to the demise of America, economic illiteracy. And obviously that ties into the public education system. And I'm not going to go on into a rant about the public education system.